I, I feel very, 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 very good, man. I'm feeling very good about this. I've, I've reached this milestone. Tell us some of the things that you used to do, like where, do you, where you used to work, etc. in your younger life. I, my first job was at the MTG Electrical Company. Mm -hmm. I worked there for 15 years. And then went to Barbados Foundry, worked for 32 years. After 32 years and the foundry collapsed, I'd been over to Mount Gay, spent seven years there, worked up to the age of 70 and retire from there. Okay. Mm. So what is your profession? Is it this electrician. Oh, electrician. Mm. So what would you say to someone that would like to reach the milestone of 100? Say to someone that what? Want to reach the milestone of 100, what would you say? Well, it's to live the right way, man. It's to praise God, think about the master, and don't do the don't behave like, like said, man. But I tell you, it's a privilege. I have a privilege, man. It's a wonderful privilege. So, um, what, what were some of the things you, you like to do when, um, when you were growing up as a boy? Man, I'm always in the church, man. What was the church, what's the name of the church you went to? St. Luke's. And still remain there up to today. Still goes there up to today. Read the lesson there and every kind of thing. Right. I am. I'm, I'm. Were you part of the men's fellowship or anything like that? Belongs to the men's fellowship. Yeah, you know, men's fellowship. All kind of things there, man. It was up on the PCC. Every kind of thing. Seeing the choir. All kind of things there, man. Done all kind of things there. Up to this day. What school did you attend back huh? in the day? What school did you go to back in the day? The what? School? What? I'd been to St. Luke's Boys School. Okay. Passed through the seventh standard at St. Luke's Boys School in the year 1936. And shortly after the rest in 1937, I went on to the MTG Electric Company to learn apprentice as an apprentice. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. So were you married? Well, I, I was married. I married quite early at the age of 21. Okay, what was your wife's name? Lillian Braden. Lillian Arletha Britton. So how many children, grands, great grands do you have? We have nine children and all alive. Right. All is alive. Right. How many grands do you have? Right at the moment we have two, well, four grands. I got four. You got four though. Four? Four? There's six. Four, six grands. <laughs> first. <laughs> Um, in terms of uh, food, what kind of food do you like uh, coming out? Well, I don't like a lot of meat now, and so I don't... Good pork chop one. No, 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 no. Yeah, I like ground provision and so, man. I like... Oh, yeah. I like the ground provision and so on, man. There's a lot of... Yeah, food don't work, have, man. Food don't work, man. The doctor rang me to, to, to wish me happy birthday this morning. How do you feel getting a special invitation to meet up with the president on her birthday? Oh, wonderful. I feel wonderful, man, to meet her. I was always planning to go to, 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 to see her. Whether she invite me or not, I was planning to go to see her. <laughs> I was planning to drive in there to go see her. You see, the trouble is that there is not thing to me, you know, I'm familiar with there. I'm a justice of peace and also have a BS, I'm BS, BSM. I have been there on several occasions because I belong to an organization called the Association Aid for Physically Handicapped Children. And I was knighted for that. And you did a lot of work. I done a lot of work on the credit union and all that. Kind of. no. When credit union first started up in Barbados, the, 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 the societies, I was one of the head of that. 